We're seeing more images of the aftermath of Hurricane Raphael in Cuba, and you can see the flooded streets and officials say more than 400 homes collapsed in the hurricane and some 283,000 people had to evacuate for higher ground as that storm hit. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Sharice Gibson. And I'm Katie Moore. As crews in Cuba try to piece the power grid back together, Raphael is meandering in the Gulf as a Category 2 storm. And tonight we're seeing evidence it is weakening. Alexa Trishler is in tonight and joins us with the latest on Raphael and how it will impact our weather forecast. Yeah, we do have a rainy weekend thanks to Raphael. It's not coming here, but some moisture associated with it is going to come into the central Gulf Coast. And so we will see some scattered showers on Saturday and Sunday, especially there could be some times of heavy rain this weekend. We'll get kind of breezy, especially at the coast, and we'll see some minor coastal flooding during the high tides this weekend. So if you do have outdoor plans, you definitely want to check the forecast, check the radar, check our app constantly to make sure you know what's going on. Also bring the rain gear with you this weekend. You'll need an umbrella, a poncho, maybe a rain jacket, though it is going to stay warm and muggy all weekend long. So Hurricane Raphael is a category two storm now. Now, it will continue to undergo weakening through this upcoming weekend as it does get battered by dry air and wind shear. So it is a cat two now. It will likely be down to a cat one later today. And then it looks like it's still going to drift off to the west through the weekend and then eventually kind of hang down to the south. So it is not going to be coming into our area. But as a front moves in from the west, this is what's going to trigger the showers. Tropical moisture gets pulled in from Raphael into southeast Louisiana. The front moves in. We'll see times of rain on Saturday and Sunday. While it's not going to be raining the whole time this weekend, it is going to be soggy at times, especially if you are headed to the game in Baton Rouge tomorrow. There could be some heavier showers tomorrow in Baton Rouge. Right now we're mostly dry. It's cloudy and muggy, 79 degrees. It's breezy with east winds. Temperatures mostly in the upper 70s and still hanging on to 80 degrees in parts of the metro area. Current wind speeds coming in. 10 to 15 miles per hour, but gusts are above 20 miles per hour in a few spots. So we'll stay breezy now and through the weekend through tonight. We'll stay mostly dry under mostly cloudy skies. Temperature is mild in the 70s. We'll talk more about this weekend coming up in just a bit. Okay, thanks so much, Alexa.